you can brighten or darken the texture without having to adjust it inside Photoshop and then having to report back into UDK. We can do this inside the material editor. So let's go ahead and open content browser. Double click on the material. We're going to darken or brighten a diffuse and a specular map. So for this we need two nodes. We need a multiply and a constant node. For multiply hold the M key and left click and then for constant hold one key and left click. You can also right click, go to constant, new constant, and for multiply, it's under math and new multiply. So let's go ahead and position these. So I'm going to take that texture sample of a diffuse, put it right here. We're going to plug the diffuse into the A slot of multiply, and we're going to plug constant into the B slot. So we're going to take the diffuse and we're going to multiply it by one constant. This value will control how much brightness or darkness you want within your texture. So let's take multiply and plug it into diffuse. Now it's going to multiply by zero, so it's going to be completely black. So let's set it to one. This is the default. So now if we turn this up or down, we can brighten or darken a diffuse map. So let's go ahead and set it to two. This will brighten this texture. And if we set it below 1 to, let's say, 0.8, this will darken it a bit. Let's go ahead and save. Let's go ahead and do the same thing for our spec map. Let's say we want our spec map to be brighter. So I'm going to move these up. And let's insert another multiply and another constant. So we can take both of these, select them, press Ctrl C and Ctrl V. Grab these and use them. Reposition our spec map. Let's change this to 1 so it's the default value. And we're going to plug our spec map into A slot. And let's go ahead and plug multiply into specular. So this is going to be the default. And if we want our spec map to be brighter, we can increase this value to 2. And to see the spec map a lot clearer, let's disconnect our diffuse so that way we can really see what's going on with our diffuse with our spec map so let's go ahead and put it to one now let's put it to three so that makes it really bright so I'm gonna set it to 1.8 let's go ahead and replug our diffuse and let's save our texture you should always check and see how it looks inside your level so you can adjust accordingly and this is how you brighten or darken a diffuse or a spec map.